Why are you in Gordo Salam? What business have you here? You want to start something? Uh, if it would please you to harm a defenseless old man, then burn me, boil me, it matters not. <laughs> huh? Lord Seymour is gone. No lord rises to take his place. The Guado merely wait for sin to come and finish us off. Why should I care what you do to me? No. Oh, oh. If it meant rejoining Lord Jiskel and Lord Seymour, then your taking off my head would be the greatest kindness. Come to kill the old... Or are you here to laugh? Laugh at the fallen Guado? Or are you here to laugh? Laugh at the fallen Guado? Not yet. Maybe later, but... Come to kill the old man? <laughs> I welcome it. Come to kill the old man? <laughs> I thought he had something different to say, but... Yeah, finally we get Lulu saying. I'm still not the person I wanted to become. Not yet. I'll come back to let you know how things went. I hope I'll bring back good news. I hope I'll bring back good news. I have prayed and prayed, yet Lord Seymour does not appear. Has he not reached the far plain? Has he become a fiend? Well, that's kind of your fault. You wouldn't let us send him. Oh, my poor Lord Seymour. Tell me, where do you wander? Oh, my poor Lord. Finish the crest. We're knocking those things out of the way, so... Kinda wish that they had a save sphere right there, but... Now over to the bigger rooms. Just uh, get the cutscene to show off.
What is this place? 700 years ago, a monk who defied the teachings was sentenced here. Oh, the traitor Omega, yeah? Omega's loathing of Yevon has turned him into a fiend. They say he liked it underground, out of the light. So, he's here? Scared? Not a chance. Anyways, um, I wouldn't venture out too far, at least at first in this place, um, maybe like, uh, just going up to that first room or the first intersection or whatever you want to call it, um, the enemies here are really tough, um, I would not go behind that, so, um, they're worth, I would say, a significant amount of gill, but um, of course, they are really tough. Um, and uh, right now, right now, I, I don't stand much of a chance against these guys, so. As for uh, your equipment, um. For your armor, um, you're either going to want to have stuff on that uh, has a fire eater or fireproof. Um, and if you don't have any armor that can do either of those two, um, I would uh, suggest stone wood or stone proof. Because <sighs> the enemies down here... Um, they kind of suck. Um, I'll be getting more into them when I uh, when I actually come down here to uh, show some stuff off. But uh, right now, the uh, bomb type creatures um, they they are just too powerful for us to take out. So. I think uh, for the expert mode, um, for here, you're gonna probably want to have um, the celestial weapons uh, to really get towards the end. So, um, don't really know uh, if I'm gonna have to do that or not. But uh, right now, uh, that is the way that it's kind of looking. So. Even though it looks like we have a good amount of gill, um, to bribe enemies in this area, it, it costs a, a lot more than we actually have, so, um, we gotta grind a lot. I think, uh, the ones that we want, um, the Defender Zeros, um, not Defender Z. I think each of those to, to bribe is like 846,000 gel. So, yeah, it's going to take us a long time. Um, one with the level 3 key spheres that we want, um, that one is the Demon Leth, and, uh, I think that one cost 900,000 gil. But one thing I, I do remember that 
I think I said in uh, my regular playthrough of Final Fantasy X was up. Uh, sometimes when you uh, like go to bribe somebody, uh, I'll say like uh, you'll get like uh, five of these specific items for uh, for bribing uh, one enemy, but. In reality, uh, five is just the baseline. Um, sometimes you will get like a six or seven, but uh, sometimes you'll get like a one, two, three, or four. And like uh, for the designer wallets that I want to get, um, I would suggest nothing less than four um you get five six or seven you know yeah that's great but uh if you only get one two or three then um i would reset and uh just keep my uh gill until uh, the next time so yeah we're gonna want a designer wallets um because we're going to want to make a Gildian error and put down uh, somebody's weapon. Um, preferably Riku, but... Because, um, and these are worth so much gill and stuff, um, this is a good place to grind for, um, for gill and, uh, some leveling and stuff. Um, however, um, it's really not that great with that sphere drops. Um, for sphere drops, um, I would suggest, uh, going back to the calm lands. That'll probably be your best bet. But, of course, uh... Now, uh... Gale there is really not gonna be worth a lot, but... Shall I tell you about the spear of days long past, eh? There is a legend, you know. Just before the horrible sin appeared, a terrible war raged between Bavel and Zanakan. When the armies of Bavel attacked Mount Gagazet, they heard a song echoing across the snowy slopes. It is a song from an other world, they said. The soldiers panicked and ran. And then, as if to pursue the retreating armies, sin appeared. Some time later, scouts from the Vell braved the mountain. On the other side, they witnessed the ruins that had been Zanagand. The city destroyed, not a single soul left standing, gone. In its place, a multitude of the faith had gathered on Gagazet. They were singing a song. It's the song we now call the Hymn of the Faith. And that, as they say, is that. Well, maybe not all of it. Would you like to hear the rest?
rumors flew in Bevel about Sin's sudden appearance. They said that the people of Xanakan became the fate that they had called Sin, and that the man responsible was none other than the summoner Yevin, ruler of Xanakan. Yes, the Lord Father of Lady Unaleska. On the eve of Xanakan's destruction, Lady Unaleska had fled to safety with her husband, Zeon. Later, the two used the final summoning to defeat Sin. Yet the people of Bevel still feared Yu Yevon. It was to quell his wrath that they revered him and first spread his teachings. And so were born the temples of Yevon. I suppose it's possible Unaleska had planned it that way from the start. A fair trade. She defeats Sin in exchange for her Lord Father's honor. Of course, there's no proof. No, the facts are lost in the mists of time. And who'd admit Yevon was an enemy of Pavel? You can bet the temples had a hand in covering that one up. And that, as they say, is that. Okay, so you know, um, I was not able to break all the doors because I, I have to get uh, one of the crowns, um, the one from Mount Gigavit, um, and I did not get it, and I did not capture all the enemies that I need to capture. To uh, to get the uh, crown, so I have another save while where I had to go back to uh, capture one Mandragora and go cash it in, and uh, I'll be loading that up uh, after this. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it training it right now, so... Kinda thought that we had to train one first, but... Yeah, I, I can't remember if I if I showed this off or or not.
And you got to remember that uh, this came out if before the Lord of the Rings movie said so. There are trick chests on this way, so... I already picked these things up, so... I think one of them had... had like 4,000 gil for us, so... I think, uh, that treasure chest that, uh, um... was being blocked at, uh, Lake Makalania, um... I think that one has 4,000 gil in it too, so... It's the whole reason we need Chocobo here. And eventually we can uh, re-enter this place, so... Um, there is a little game that we could play, but, uh, of course I'm not going to be doing it right now, so. Just kind of want to get this thing to be shown off, so. We're right back here from uh, from the airship. I, I think we have to actually go in and um, use one of the chocobos to get up here. So. Uh, 